some branches here by the park and the golf course that have come off the trees depending on the height quite big enough to cause a lot of damage heavy branch here that's fallen down and it's right next to the children's play area one like that on your head some of the branches that they've cut down from the trees by the golf course and another pile there so you can see the amount of and how dead these branches are the alley at the back of the Queen's Park that we're complaining about the trees these are all the branches now that have come down when the, guard, the uh, tree people have been felling all these dead branches so it's quite easy to see that any of these could previously have fell on unsuspecting member of the public and this is only a small minority a lot of it they've actually taken away and a lot of it's inside the bushes so that's a good job done we just hope that they continue and uh, remove the dead tree that's a few feet away the gap veranda has now been done let's hope this one lasts a little bit longer than the last one still part of the problem you can see there's a lot of water stays on the top which as that freezes it's going to affect the, the boring we can see the problem with the cafe that there's no guttering so all the water has been falling off the roof onto the veranda and that's what's caused it to rot but this new stuff I've just been told is actually composite so it shouldn't in theory rot even though it's continuously wet we'll wait and see how that one works out you see the problems with the cap is the some of the panel in it's falling apart if we walk along a bit you can see the new base there and how far out this wood walks because when you come along come along it's totally different there it's level so that other other bits warped further along it's falling apart here this is the inlet look at the amount of leaves that the uh, gardeners have pulled out of this little inlet it's a major problem you can still see there's a lot of leaves left in Swans having a good feed after somebody's left a pile of food for them. The numbers are rapidly reducing the illness and one thing or another. One of the problems is people feeding them that they get that close and they become tame. And then it becomes dangerous because they just think everybody's the same. They're wild animals and should be fed at a distance. Goose sand are back on the lake. We've had a lot of problems that these have been eating all the fish. And this is a single one at the moment, all I can find. 